one thing after another, you know. One thing after another. Seriously. Started out a good day and then having this and having that. Oh, God. You know, don't, don't piss me off. This shit ain't that damn serious, you know. <sighs> Got to all start from scratch again. Hey, farms. Ah, God. Stupid ass. Yeah, I'm okay. You know, I just don't like stupid people and Yeah. Hey, you know you give you send me a couple of thousand dollars and and five, six, ten thousand, and then you wanna know where your money is? I'd be happy to take you there. You know, you want to know where your money is right now on Patreon? Go to my pa go to my Patreon, and I I got fifty three dollars. All my money is. That was for. only the questions they had. That was the only questions they had. Doug. Yeah, well, they could go look on my Patreon, and then they could that would okay. satisfy yeah, them. Yeah, then tell them, tell them, tell them. Yep. Well, you're right, Kevin. Tell them. Evidently, I can't tell them because they they are uh, too busy to um, ask me themselves. <laughs> Which I really don't give a shit because the the people that uh, everybody that what uh, the money is, I talk to those people every day. I talk to Donna. Donna sent me twenty twenty dollars a month. Mikey five fifty sent me the dollars down. Yeah, that's right. Tell them. So, well, they know already. I mean, and, and and Donna said that's a gift. So, but I guess I got to tell those other guys that the money is a gift and they don't need to know where it is because it's a gift. Yeah, but, but Kevin, the bottom line is if, if the person that gave you the money is not concerned with what you're doing with it, nobody yeah. else should be concerned. Yeah, that's, yeah. I, and right, right, you you ask Mikey or Donna if they're concerned about the money, and they'll laugh at you. Right. So there's there's, there's no worry that no one else should be concerned because it's not their well, money. Okay. They didn't give it. Jason is very concerned, and other people. Well, but that's none of their business. Yeah. If they give, then they can be concerned. But but like I said, if if I got like a thousand, like if you send me a thousand, and you said. You want the money to be um, like if I use it, you want to see the receipt. Now, then that's cool. Well, that's the option of the person giving you the money. Some will say, "Look, use it the way you choose to use it," and others may say, "Look, it's for this for specific purpose. You know, I like to see a receipt, or I you know, I need to see some proof." Yeah. So I, like I said, I have no, I, I don't sweat. <laughs> where, where, where that money is because it's still the same place. Same with um, um, Kiwi Mike. All of his $3 he sent me, he knows where it's still at. And then uh, I had other people, um, um, uh, Mr. Porter, he sent me $25 for I could get some meds the other day. And that was, that was through awesome. my PayPal. And I and yeah. I still get some money in there still. Yeah, I, I don't I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. The money hey, I get from I my drink, uh, I smoke, man. You're, you're, kids, you're only, kids, you're only, I send it to my kids. Your only vice is you, you you make babies. That's that's all. 
Yeah, because I'm good at it. That's right. <laughs> Got to be good at something. So, and, and my the money for my kids, they it's um, I get the receipts because I use Western Union, and all that money is accountable. So, yeah, I I, I ain't sweating it. Ugh. And you shouldn't, you know, you know, a, you know, it is what it is. You know, we gotta make money the way we gotta make money. Is. You know, oh, I guess if the IRS, I, 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 you know, I'm just saying, you know, um, you know, there was pressure. They just want to hear your voice. That's all. Yeah, well, and I know that stuff, you know, because at the same time, I had to go through it. And I had to sit there online and talk about where my money's coming from. You know what I mean? So any, anyway, like I said, it, it, my my, like I said, I I don't have no closet um, junkies <laughs> want to know what's going on. I mean, like I said, those guys, if they want to know what, what's going on, they can have the balls to ask me. But Ren, Ren can say, uh, give me a donation and, uh, you know, you, you, you'll get a free ride on my boat. You know, so at least you're returning the, uh, the favor. Yeah. Help, help sponsor my boat and, and, and earn a free ride. Well, yeah, like, like. So many spawns, you put, give me so much and you can, like in Patreon, and you can get this and this and this, plus a bottle of cheap wine. Yeah, That's exactly. Right. And, I'll, and I'll put the um, eye patch on. It's like now, you know, you get a bunch of hate, you know, because people, you know, now are attacking us, you know, Richard and I, you know, as far as, you know, hey. You know what? Because we're not on your side. No, we're on your side, Kevin. We really are, but we're we're trying to say who's attacking you. But yet you got idiots that just continue to attack. See, this guy right here, Mr. Gun Term, he sent me um the information for I could talk to the um embassy and he it took him time to go online and he sent me the information exactly. so if he wants to know what's gun going on he could tell me because he gave me the information because gun term is actually doing the the, 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 the you know diligence well, the others plus, are just he, hey he's the fuck friend of me. Me. and he's you know, he, 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 he trying to help me but kevin to be unblacklisted you you would have to go through i would think uh the immigration office not not the embassy or anything, correct? That's that's no. correct. That's what I said earlier. I'll get the money. I'll send it to my kid's mom. Mm -hmm. She'll go to Manila to the um to the immigration. She'll go up to the glass window and then How much are, how much are they saying you owe? How much are they yeah, roughly five thousand dollars? So it's, basically it's maybe two hundred and eighty thousand pesos. So I wonder I'm sure they'll take less to clear that up just to get the money. Well, yeah, uh, they, they they mentioned that also. But again, I'm, I'm not I mean, I'm not making everything. I'm not telling everybody because really it's nobody's business. But if if, if I get a sponsor and they send me the money, then heck, they could go and like they could go to Manila and and go to immigration and say this is in the blacklist. Be and they go right. I I just wanted to mention like uh, the way. Uh, like when, when my girlfriend was working here and still a Philippine citizen, whenever she would want to go back to the Philippines, the embassy would would want to uh, levy taxes on her income. And yep. so so what she would so with what it boils down to is they want, as they say in the Philippines, a little something, a little something. Everybody so, wants something. Right. So she doesn't show them her whole income but the willingness to give them a little bit, and they're happy with that. It was like that in Ukraine. When I had a girl in Ukraine, it was the same thing. They want a little bit of something. 
Right. So, I mean, with, with the Philippines and your blacklisting, I mean, you describe your circumstances and uh, say, you know, no. see if they'll, see if hey, they'll accept a thousand dollars. Kevin, you, yeah, you, you can get a better deal, man. You really can. If you can sit there and discuss, you know, your problems and what happened and especially what happened, you had a bullet, you know, knock to your head and whatnot. You know what? Hey, you probably get a better deal. Yeah. I mean, as, as a starting point, I'm sure you can chew uh, 50% off that $5,000 figure. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cause see, um, those other guys, they're the. I mean, my my other guys that that's on my side, they they said a good number would be fifteen thousand uh, dollars if I could get built up. If I could oh, go there, God. pay Stop for it. my airplane ticket, and then for my twenty kid. for twenty thousand, even overstay, you can get that. Come on. Well, you're saying you you owe you you owe five thousand to get the blacklist yeah. removed. Yeah, yeah, that's all. I'm sure your your girlfriend, wife, whatever she is, your wife, I think, uh, if she goes to the embassy with, with uh forty thousand pesos and wave it in their face, you're, you, well, you're you'll be a blacklisted. Yeah, John, I, I really don't think like the State Department's gonna be like they're gonna work like a collection agency. I don't think they're gonna go ahead and give them a discount on that five thousand. Yeah, because yeah, you mean, uh, you, you mean immigration, know. not the State Department. Yeah, Philippine immigration. immigration. They, they have, oh, yeah, yeah, the immigration. I, I still don't think it's a government agency. I don't know. Everybody wheels and deals. I just gave the example of, of my girlfriend working here, and, and then when she would go home, she, she would go to the embassy in New York, and they would want a tax money on the income she made in the United States. She would give them a few dollars, and they would be okay with that. Money talks, bullshit walks front, right, in the Philippines. Like, like front, money talks, bullshit the time, walks. Yeah. They'll accept any money you're willing to give them. For them, yeah. it's better they get, uh, they want 5000 They're better off they get that 1000 than get nothing. Well, here's the thing. What Kevin was talking about like a few shows ago, that 5000 if he can't even, like if he's blacklisted, it's going to be hard for him to go ahead and even get reinstated for that, even if you pay that off. I think what's going to happen, his best bet, is probably going to have to use any of that money, whatever he gets, to try and get his kids' paperwork done over in the Philippines and have them sent to over here. I mean, I think that's a better way to go ahead and use the money instead of him going well, back Well, the there. next question is he would have to research, based on his income, would, would the U.S. Embassy approve his kids coming to the United States? Well, that's, yeah, that would my, be the question. I'm sure, I'm sure they would. Anyway, because they're, they're mine, and, and they, have, they are born... Um, um, through me, so I, I already signed papers for my kids can uh, for for uh, they can get the uh, naturalization by by um, U.S. Um, birth. So since since I'm the father and I'm a U.S. citizen, my kids are automatically so the paperwork that I had to fill out is saying that I acknowledge my kids. As as me as my kids, right. So then, so what's your purpose of having the blacklisted lifted? What's the purpose? If the paperwork can just be done there and they can come here, what's the purpose of going through all the unblacklisting? Yeah, and procedure? and I was told I was told by by immigration that my my kids can travel with the mother under a fiance visa and. My kids don't need no proof or nothing because they're with the mother. All right, so you don't need to go to the Philippines. You don't need to get the blacklist that's, removed. That's that's if everything went sour. That's my next option. Okay. That's uh, all. I don't have kids or whatnot, so I don't know this process. So that's why I'm out of this conversation. I don't know. But they, they do want uh, um, for money, like I have to have like so much money in the bank because they want to make sure that I can support my wife. I mean, my wife to be. Sure. Well, this is what I was I was saying. The the U.S. government, the embassy wants to see you're capable of, of support. Yeah. 
So if I have money, like like a certain amount of money in in the bank, then they then that's the proof because I could just show right. the uh, my my bank statement, and then they'll be honky dory with that. All right. So how, how do you plan on getting that that money? Well, like I said, I mean, if if I can if I can get money from here and and other um, uh, people that is wants to um, uh, pitch in, then that's great. But I'm also putting money with my um, disability. I'm also putting that in the bank. Also, I'm taking money to my kids, and then I'm trying to save the other rest. Well, why that's don't why you why don't you have uh, relatives give you uh, what they call in the Philippines show money? Put money in your account, and then when you get your girlfriend to the U.S., uh, you give it back. Yeah, we 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 talked about that also. Everybody uses the show money angle. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it, it's not about attacking you. You know, big head. You know, we're just. Trying to find out, you know, exactly what your plan is. Yeah. But like I said, really nobody's business except the people that, like, really and I concerned. agree. I agree. No business. No, it's I nobody's mean, like, business. Like, like right now, if Donna, if, if Donna uh, says, what, what can she do to help? And how much do I need to write down on a check? And then, then she's the person I have to... Uh, be accountable for but isn't what isn't it more cost effective to keep everybody in the Philippines since it, it's easier uh, and cheaper for them to live there than bring them bring them to the United that's, States that's what my aunt said too oops all right so I'm in agreement with her I would okay. say it's more expensive because <laughs> the, my kid's mother doesn't really want to go because she don't want to be separated from her parents and what she said, what happens if I die? Um, where, 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 where is everybody going to be? Well, when she comes to the U.S., she she can work. I mean, that's her option. I mean, she can earn yeah. money here, you know, so a lot more than she would earn any other place. Yeah. Yeah. So she could survive here. You know, she could survive. Well, she, she has relatives that live in uh, Milwaukee. Another one lives in San Diego, and another one lives in, um, I don't, I don't, um, Omaha. So, yeah. Well, it's, uh, I guess it has to do with how close she is with those people, I guess. Well, yeah, they're, they're, they're cousins, and uh, like I said, but yeah, anyway... <laughs> I'm just reading what people are saying. Yeah, go to the panel. Where were, uh, you? Where were you? We got Ray. That's always going to say something about me. Oh. Mikey yeah. Five Fit. The blacklist is not a big deal. Well, it's not a big deal because I, I, my blacklist is only because of uh, money. I mean, not because of crime and um, all that bad stuff. Mine is just because I failed to um, pay my um, my fee. Maybe somehow, some way, your girlfriend can get a free consultation w with an attorney, uh, or at a minimal cost consultation, mm. there and and get their opinion on what what the minimum amount you can pay to have that uh, blacklist removed. Mm -hmm. See, that's the question. Yeah. You know, that's the question, Kevin, that everyone's asking. It's like, you know, you have a choice. Go out there, you know, talk to the, you know, the embassy and whatnot and, and get that black listed, you know, removed. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. I mean, if anybody is a financial basket case, it's, it's you know, no, uh, no offense, but it's you. So you go there, look, I'm on just government assistance. I'm living with family. 
and you know, but I want to get this removed. What's the minimum mm -hmm. I can pay? And this is what I got, you know. I, I got right. nothing else, you know, what not, you know, this fuck it. Tell the truth, man. Right. You know what? I'm and I'm, you, I'm a day away from uh living like Barry Jordan was living in a, <laughs> you know, so, you know, give me, cut me some well, stuff. I, I'm just glad it's not that grim. But I never had that but problem. So yeah. I mean even even the IRS, if if, if you owe them a, a US IRS, you know, you owe them a big chunk of money, they'll 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 probably even accept like a forty cents on a dollar just to get some money out of you. In yeah. the Philippines, that's all it's all about, man. It's just money, man. Yeah, you don't money, need to pay for anything. Yeah. Money talks and bullshit walks in the Philippines. Well, yep. yeah, but that's also how it is here in the US. If you got money, then that that means a lot. If you don't have oh, money, man. then you it's might different. have to well in the US you, you, you can have credit. In the Philippines, uh yeah, they want it's to see cash. Money. They want well, it's all yeah. about cash. Yeah, it's different. Come on, man. You've been here. Come on. You know. Uh, Rich was talking about the same thing that I'm talking about. It's all about cash. And you can pay your way all the way through. You know that. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm on Facebook right now. Somebody was sending you know, me a message. It's all about cash. You know, just throw cash down. You know, I can buy the fucking boat harbors. I can buy, you know, all the fucking, you know, uh, captains. I can buy... You know, and that's what I do, you know, and as long as you buy all of that, hey, man, you're good. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, everything else is going pretty good. Everything is going good. Hey, what about you, Richard? Where are you at? I'm at work. Like some people oh, need to make money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that was a fucking backhanded. <laughs> so yeah, what's going on, Roberto? No, nothing. Uh, just FYI, the package will arrive at the twenty third. Repeat the twenty third. I don't know why. That's this it's the way it is. Are you talking about my package or your package? What the hell are you talking about? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Your the package. package from Columbia? <laughs> yeah, the uh, big giant bag of pot is coming to your house on the no, 23rd. It's, uh, it's oh, baby, yeah. baby powder. Oh, oh from, yeah. from baby, baby powder. Medellin. Hey, Robert. Uh, I believe that the address is wrong. It's supposed to come to me. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be a, hey, that, that package come, my, my cousin <laughs> opens it on oh, baby powder and put it on my, put it on my, 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 my cousin's kid's butt. <laughs> yeah. They'll have a high of a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. What what kind of powdered sugar is this? As she makes cookies with it. Well, uh, cousin, don't open your uh, personal packages. Hey, okay. well, we're gonna find out because you're gonna be doing like a ten-hour show that day. Twenty-six. Roberto, what's that? Did you say on the twenty-six? 23rd. Oh, the 23rd? Yeah. I uh, hope you get it. Yeah. Dog, you see a lot of dog bites on the package. You know that's a messed up day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, talk about a messed up day. Hey, Roberto, remember last night I was talking about when I entered the, um, the U.S. for the first time? When I was in Guam, 
I was standing and I pick up my my bags, put my bags on the ground, and then all of a sudden, this man, he was walking around with a real cute little doggy, like a beagle, and and that dog had a sign on on him, and it said U.S. Customs. <laughs> and that sniffing dog was going around sniffing everything. Yeah, I couldn't believe yeah. it. And then he went to he. I had two bags, and he starts sniffing my bags. And the and the um, officer told me to put my um my backpack on the ground. And the dog starts sniffing my bags, and then he starts like wiping his nose all over my bags. And then he walked away. And then another man came with a German <coughs> Shepherd. This dog he, he sniffed, sniffed your crotch. This this dog sniffed my butt. <laughs> he sniffed all that over. Happened. Well, you could have had that, cocaine that, up that, your ass, you know. You could have had because I just farted and I had a I had a greasy one in your and, anus. And then, and then after that, the dog <laughs> sniffed my bag. You you cocaine residue. The dog was acting a little bit weird. And the, uh, the officer told me, he goes, where did you come from? And I said, the Philippines. And then he goes, have you been there for a while? And I said, yeah, 13 years. And he walked away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happened to me. Uh, you know why he asked me how long I was there. Uh, he asked me, was I in the, in the city or was I in the countryside? And, and I said, I was in the countryside, and he turned around and walked away. He smelt, the dog smelt pig. Well, looking for you, they actually put me in a machine. The, the dog was it, hungry. It was like, they were blowing. Well, the, the dog smelt the pig, and the dog was um, disorientated. Nice. And then he took a bite out of your ass. He asked me the question. So I just thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, I haven't had that done uh, in Guam. Oh, yeah, that that was my only um, good experience when I was in um, Guam, when the dogs were sniffing me. Can't believe the dogs sniffed my butt, though. Yeah, go to Germany. What's that? Go to Germany. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. They actually pulled me from the flight and they wanted to check everything. And it was like they were looking at my, of course, I'm a vlogger. So they're looking at my stuff and they're pulling everything out. And what's this? It's called the uh, video stand. You know, I'm pretty sure you guys know what this is. Oh, we have to put it through, you know, the tester. You know, so they had it check for or gun sniffer. smoke and whatnot yeah sniff no it was like a machine that actually blow your body and then they blow everything that's on your your yeah, setup that, yeah, you know that's a sniffer yeah they're looking for residue for you know i was about to bring a bomb into their fucking you know country yeah yeah you don't want to do that on fourth of july time <laughs> Actually, no. We we get up, fly people out there. Buy fireworks and put them in their bag, and then they go light them off with the residue yeah. from the gunpowder. Yeah, is in your bag. And of course, I was a smartass because I was like, you know, you guys don't know where a fucking stand is. You know, this is called a camera stand. You guys never seen one before? They just looked at me, and they were all serious. And behind me, I had two fucking cops behind me. Yep. And they fucking grabbed, you know, and, you know, nope. We got to take it through the machine. Whoa. And they did. Yeah. Well, my, my, my cops told me to stand away from my dog. I mean, stand away from the, my bags. And I was supposed and I took a knee. <laughs> Damn. And I did see those other cops behind me. And... And then then they asked me where 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 was I and how long was I there? 
and then they just turned around and walked away. It wasn't worth asking me any more questions. But yeah, yeah that was pretty interesting. Just don't walk away from the bag and start running. That's kind of like a dead giveaway. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. You ain't gonna get far. I'll tell can, you. Can what. I go to the bathroom? Yeah, go take a piss, man. <laughs> I got, I got the rest of the guys here to talk to. Chuck, can you vlog it? Yeah. What's that? Nothing. Never it's mind. Yeah, uh, gun term. Ran cheek. Yeah. Hey, man. Oh, we'll stay here. Ren. What's up? Trixie. I, uh, Trixie's behind me. Her on her uh, blog. Mm hmm About, uh, about, uh, checking on your, uh, boat as they're building it. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Oh, Randall, I didn't say hi to you. Hi, Randall. You always get angry if I don't say anything. Oh, Randall's here? Hey, what's up, Randall? Yeah, I have to say hi because he gets angry if I don't acknowledge him. There. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> well, I get angry if you don't fucking say hi to me. <laughs> well, God damn. Some of them, well, they don't get angry, but everybody likes to be noticed. Hi, Hemi. Gun, you talked to me already. Yes, there's Mikey. What did Seth yeah, gun, skip yeah. off to? Yeah, gun term, you know, yeah. He's one of my subscribers. Good guy. Sess is oh, out stroking his bald that? pussy. Well, he, he's yeah. looking for yeah, looking for some uh, fishing poles, raiders. Well, he's yeah okay. Well, can't you buy fishing poles in the Philippines? Emmy, uh, of course. Yeah, of course, Emmy is going to have a name for me, so that'll be soon. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Uh, what do we got? We're reading, reading the comments, guys. Yeah, I so am, too. Keep, keep pussing. Oh, I see. Gun terms sticking up for me again. <laughs> Thanks, Why? buddy. Let's think for Kevin. He's already got his own problems. Let him fucking deal with it. Let's start some controversy. Well, that's not a that's not a good <laughs> that's not a good way to start your morning off on a evening. <laughs> I'll play with you, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Hey Victor, thanks for sticking up for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm I not a mental reject. I can't stick up for myself, but I appreciate you guys um, watching my back because that's what good friends are for. Or good good followers. All hey, that stuff. I'm still not there yet. I'm on. I'm on Jason's side right now. That's okay. We got to we got to we got to figure shit out, man. You guys can hold hands and sing Kumbaya. Yeah, <laughs> Goomba, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> all right, we're at the panel right now. We're reading all the comments. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, you guys. Um, you guys can say something if you want, you know, you don't need me to, but I'll, I'll, how's the weather there? Uh, in Cebu, 
uh, we're getting off and on, uh, you know, rain. It just keeps on, you know, pouring in. All of a sudden, it stops. So it's normally at night. Yesterday here. And and what about that earthquake? Um, I was not there. It was in Manila, from what I understand. Um, oh, okay. uh, we didn't get it. Uh, any of you, you guys, on the panel? Panel. Anybody there? Roberto. Um, what do you want, man? People are trying to work. John Doe. Oh, <laughs> People are trying to work. You know what? You know, that is correct, man. People are trying to work, man. <laughs> Leave them alone. Awesome in the USA. <laughs> I'm going to keep uh, supporting all you generates. Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't let me work. Uh, I can't argue with him. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it, it takes money, Damn. you know, to buy boats, you know, to buy packages. Hey, shut up, man. I know. I didn't know what it would take to fucking make boats. <laughs> <laughs> it's costing me 4000 <laughs> Oh, my God. Pesos, no, no, thousands. That that fucking four thousand USD. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, you could have just sent me that, and I, and they would have been happy. Mm -hmm. But like okay. Roberto said, man, hey, man, cost money, man. You gotta work. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh. Uh, sorry. Oh, that's, that's, that's okay, buddy. Yeah, I'm in a, actually in the middle of uh, buying a, a boat, but the difference here in, in the Philippines is I can put it on credit. Oh, wow. So I'm, gonna, I'm looking that's at a good. 20, 25 foot sun. Um, Oh, uh -huh, yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah. You know what? If you love being out in the ocean, you know what? I'll tell you what, man. It doesn't even matter if you make money. You, you know want to come on, buddy? Just you being out there. My... Am I correct? I'm sorry. I'm not listening. Oh. Uh, Talking to Roberto, I believe. Yeah, I heard you. I heard you. Yeah. Oh, there, there he is. Yeah, I, do. I heard you. Yeah, you're right. You know? Yeah. It's you it gotta be. You gotta love the ocean, man. You know, and that's. There you go, man. And understand how you know the ocean and navigation and whatnot. You know that 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 makes your your life. That's why I spent eight years in the Coast Guard. Mm -hmm. There it is. See, I knew there was something. <laughs> See. Green boat is sixty-five. That'd be good. That's why yeah. I laugh when people really wanted to come on. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, you I've been, I've been uh, kind of listening to your subject, uh, what you guys been talking about, Ren's boat and everything. Hey Ren, mm. could I ask you a couple questions, bro? Go ahead. Hey, you know, uh, I've I was a mate Jerry, on an eighty-two right? foot burger. Yeah, this is Jerry. <laughs> I was a mate on an 80, 82 foot burger boat. Are you familiar with burger boats, twin screws? These are yes, yachts. Uh, yeah. And hey, man, uh, it's extremely dangerous, believe it or not, out on the water. Uh, let me just ask you a couple questions. Again, we're just talking here. You know, okay. do you have any kind of license? Uh, uh, and then you probably don't need a license. In the, well, I'm sure you probably may need a license in the Philippines, but I'm sure you can yes, get away without having a like a six pack license or a mate's license yeah. to ride to drive a boat out there. I'm sure it would be no problem, yeah. right? Yeah, you do. Yeah. Uh, so, I, and you know, one of the biggest things is navigation because you're going to really learn, need to know, you're going to have to have some charts on you. You're going to have to learn how to uh, coordinate points. That's going to be yep. extremely. You're uh, correct. You're correct. Uh, you're going to have to learn how to man a radar. What would you do if you are out in the middle of the water and it's fog comes in? What do you do, man? Okay. I mean, that's, you're a, that's a big problem. When you're, when you're in open water, first off, you got to look right. at it. 
if you have, you know, um, you have white caps. If you got white caps, you got a problem. Drop down speed. You can't see so, white caps in, in, in fog, no, brother. You can't. No, you can't. You. No, no, you could see, you know, three feet in front of you. If so you're you lucky, see. you see three feet in front of you. But the problem is, exactly. no, the problem is not really when you're out in the water. You're given the best, you're given the worst scenario. You know what? You don't have and the that. worst scenario can, can sink you. That's my whole point, Ren. But what yeah. happens is when you're in the middle of the water, when there's fog, it's not a big deal. So uh, you well, actually, it actually can be if you – it can be if you're not – first of all, if you're not paying attention to traps. Have you ever come across traps? You can easily uh, get traps. I've so been on your many motor. traps. As a matter of fact, you know, I was too drunk one night, and I actually broke one of my boats. Yeah. Yeah, you know? traps is another problem. Uh, you know, fishing traps is another problem. The problem is coming into a harbor when it's foggy. Uh, you got boats behind you. You got boats in front of you. You got to make sure you don't run aground, depending if they're dredging correctly. And that's another problem. You're probably going to ha have to make sure. You know, I'm sure they don't dredge the harbors correctly, you know, no, they in don't. the Philippines. No, they don't. So, no, they don't. Again, uh, you know, being experienced, I mean, you know, I understand you got your uh, uh, Chixie's going to be, I don't know, now, what you do or with another guy. You shut that, if you let me talk. Okay. You shut, down, you shut down the engine is what you do. You shut down the engine just before you get in. So you're about 50 feet, you know, from or actually even further than that. Uh, that's the actually wait that's the worst thing you can do dude you oh, don't even yeah. have a sail to bring yourself in if you had a no. sail to bring yourself in, yeah, yeah, you you actually, if, if you less if you let me talk okay you will finally understand right what happens is they use a bamboo stick to right. actually pull the boat in and okay. then they bring it in the show you know so oh, it's not the engine it's not field. nothing hmm Okay, that's how they do it there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's again, but then yeah, you got to know where you're at. Though, you know, how do you know you're 50 feet out? That's a, again, you know, you know, the boats are different, I mean, the fields are different. You have, you, okay, again, you know, you have a navigator right in front of you, and it's telling you exactly when to cut off the engine, and then mm -hmm. he's the one or she's the one that's going to grab, you know, the pole to start the pole. <laughs> oh, your navigator is qualified. You know what? Uh, have you been here? Have you been here? Have you been here and talked to the of people course. that I've talked to? <laughs> oh, no, I, I don't. Really don't talk. Talk. Are you, you don't know. No, I'm just saying you said Chixie no, and some know. other dude's going to be your navigator. No, I never said that. <laughs> Did I you say Chixie was going to be your navigator? No, you, I, I heard just that. said I was in. I was in. <laughs> okay, so now you're. So are you drinking so. some red horse, brother? Jerry's killing me, man. <laughs> No, All right, man, I'm just fucking cold. with you. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you. Again, the point I'm trying to make, it's extremely dangerous. And, and it's, it's the fog that gets you, man. That's when you crack your shit up, you know? Uh, and out you there, I'm sure you got reefs. You got all kinds That's of stuff. The thing. Yeah, but you got the yeah, reefs. I would just, You're right, Gary. You're yeah. right. You do got the reefs. I mean, the reefs, man. No, that's cool. I had to. I just. I was listening to what you guys were talking about and stuff, and I actually went to a sailing school. I don't know if anybody knows about it. It's called Chapman's. It was in Florida, in Stewart, Florida. Uh, it was in a 12-week intensive course, uh, and it's a pretty good program for a 12-week program. You know, I mean, I had friends that went to shipping schools up in northern Michigan and stuff like that, and they, you know, uh, they're made on their mates on tankers, like second and third mates. That, I could never do something like that, but again, eh, it can yeah. be pretty crazy shit out there. I mean, I, I spent a year out there, and it's like, whoa, man, it ain't worth the money. You know, it, it was pretty stressful from what I recall, you know. But, but cool. the one thing you said, you know, mm -hmm. that you have to watch out for, that is true. The, the reefs. because The reefs, the fishing uh, traps, uh, and oh other boats. God. <laughs> yeah, you get shot. You get trapped because, in there. Dude, if you don't have a radar, if you don't have a radar and you're out you in fog, yep. uh, fishing boats are running around uh, trying to get their catch real quick. They'll be zipping in front of you all and behind you in front of you. It's easy to hit one of them suckers, you know? I mean, you well, got to really, really... Jerry, uh, the Philippines is different. They, is the it? navigation is not what it is in the United yeah. States or around the world. Exactly. I mean... Yeah, because you guys don't have any those, buoys or any of that kind yeah, of stuff, exactly. right? Like red buoys and, so, and green buoys. And so... Uh, the waterways are all free for all. Is it? Yeah. Oh, because shit. All these guys, all these fishermen, been out there for years and years and right. years, and through their fathers, through centuries, mm -hmm. boating, 
and stuff. So they know the waterways and they know, you know, what to avoid and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's exactly. a lot of there's I'm sure there's a lot of that's uh, why uh, you have to have a people go na- around and all that stuff. But what yeah. um, Ren, what Jerry's tr- try to point out is that you're not, I don't think you're experienced enough to be. Yeah, a you're not qualified to do it, to be honest with so you. I mean, I would what I would the first year is hire a captain. Yeah. And, and I did. And, li- and, and I learn did. from him. And train yourself the waterways, and that way, if yeah. you get on there exactly, yourself and Gary. start navigating and uh, uh, you know doing your thing, and you're gonna get into I'm, a lot I'm of trouble. You, uh, you know, I'm, no, you're right. You know, I mean, I'm not I'm, here knocking I'm not you, right? I'm not here knocking right. you, in a, yeah, and I know you did some homework to a certain degree, but dude, it's risky shit out there, and you better oh. be qualified before you actually take people out there because you're liable for their lives, oh. man. You know, it's Gary, no bullshit I am not. I'm not a professional. That's a good point, and I know, and that's why. That's cool. I, again, I'm not. I'm not here to knock you or anything like that. It's just from my experience, man. I'm just passing that on that on to you. It can be very, uh, very. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it's some risky shit. But anyway, hey, you know, I hope it works out. But yeah, hey, hey you really. I mean, you might want to just hang out with the captain, go out with him. He'll show you all the tricks of the trade. There might even be yeah. a little course you pass through a Coast Guard system out there. I'm sure there is. It has. That's to, what it is. Know, yeah. Like that. <laughs> That's what it I'm is. I'm sure. You know. Great. Okay, cool, that. guys. I'm just going to jump off and keep my mouth shut and listen to you guys. That's all I want. All right. Do. All right, Gary. Hey, thank all right, you, guys. Man. Thank you. Thank yeah, you later. for spitting your, spitting your tongue. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> all right. Talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, Ren. Um, Jerry has a point. I mean, he didn't. He doesn't know the no, waterways of the I, Philippines. I, 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 don't, I don't. I don't cut him. I yeah, don't cut him. Yeah, really. I mean, he's he's looking out for you. But the thing is, uh, you know, he he's riding a way that. If you you know take, what? I used to ride, you know, uh, speedboats and whatnot. You know, but I don't claim to be a a bunk of you know a boat. You know. Right. Right. Players, we can. You know, we can all. I, be, I don't know. Backseat drivers, but when you yeah, exactly doing it, exactly. You know, you hey, Gary, Gary's people. got a point, and you do, yeah. do. You know, um, you know, I'm stepping back and take and like I don't know about here because here all the boating people can go on um, Coast Guard auxiliary uh, boating classes, but I don't know what they mm-hmm. are in the Philippines. I know there's Coast Guard there where you're at, and so you may want to get with the Coast Guard and see what. What uh, safety and uh, and rules? I know they are the- they're basically the same rules from what I learned when I was in the boats. You know, it's uh, you always go right. You always go right. You know, um, you drop down on the wake. Yeah. And see, I've owned boats. Red right I've owned boats. Now, not not all of them yeah. are gonna have lights, though. You know, you may see yeah, red, that's a green on your yeah. left, <laughs> green on your left, red on your right. And red right returning, but not everybody is gonna have exactly navigation. You know, I see that. Yep. It's all for free for all out there. Mm-hmm. No, you know, I, I don't take any of your guys' advice as you know, fit on. You know, trust me. You know, out here it's free for all. And where's Kevin? Yeah, we're we having Kevin. He's... I guess we gotta, you know, hold the show again. He's on his meds. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin is his equipment, man. He needs to get better equipment. That's why I'm trying to help him out. Get, get some good equipment out there. Oh my god. So what do you guys think, you know, about the boat? You know, it's like, okay, you got a thirty footer, twenty people, built for Americans. What do y'all think? About if it's gonna do any good or I mean, it's no, good that you're you making know, it, it into... It's not even, it's even not about making money, you know. It's just, you know, I mean, really, to be honest, it's just, 
you know, private use. Yeah, I mean, just just having a boat, it's private enough, man. And then take friends out there and from Ireland. You know, Island. I'm not I'm not thinking about making you know fucking a million dollars. You know what I mean? I, I am thinking about that. You know, I never did. It's just you know, I just you know, private use for the family, but not you know, and just you know, have have a boat. You know, but everybody's making it a big deal. Like, oh my God, you're gonna fail. You know, it's like you know, I'm I'm not thinking. Well, about, I mean, I, I, they probably know. they're probably thinking that you're gonna go into this business that you're not really familiar with, and of course, people's gonna have criticism about that. But if you're gonna just use it for, you know, for personal use, and it's at times take uh, uh, Americans out to wherever they want to go and make a little bit of money on the side, I mean, that's all good. Yeah, I'm criticizing you for that. Yeah, you know, that, you know, that's all it is. You know, it's just, you know, fuck, man. Oh, but if you're going to you, you make it a full-time business, I would hire a, a, an experienced captain. You're right. That's what I would do. Yep, you're right. You're right. It wouldn't be me. Your, but if you personal use and then on the side you make a little bit of money, then, yeah, you can kind of, like, be the captain or the co-captain and, you know, until you learn to, until you oh, learn oh. navigation in the area. So I'm back. Oh, I'm Kevin back. took a big dump. That's why he had to go do something. Yeah, it's called a big oh. dump. Okay. Um, I'm just talking to myself right now. Okay. <sighs> you okay, Kevin? <laughs> I, I, had a, I, was I have some finished lumber. Yeah, because he's going to make salves. And he, and he bought mahogany. And that was a little, they're long ass pieces. And we had to treat them like a, with a kit glove. But yeah, I'm okay. No, oh, guy. Well, welcome back, I guess. But don't have a heart attack now. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want you to send back your package. Yeah, I don't know why this, this your bolo, bolo head and I don't know what he wants. Well, you got the power to kick him off. You wouldn't like him, man. Well, he was do. asked the last time when he was on Aloe's show. You get the power, son. You get well, the power. Yeah. Block him. Hey, I am ordered that you try not to forget that. He's and waiting, a little bit Kevin. But yeah, yeah, Ren, I'm I'm kinda excited for your boat because I wanna when I come out, I wanna ride on it. And plus you know the guy's saying hi, big Kevin. I keep telling you, man. <laughs> I'll be the I'll be a good investor. Oh, hey man. I'll put you in, man. You know, you, hey, ride. You know, I ain't, I'm thinking about fucking, you know, I, most people think I'm thinking about profit and whatnot. You know what? Really? I'm not thinking about profit. I'm thinking about, you know what? I have fun being out there on the beach. Well, I mean, if it turns out good and it looks nice, I'm going to have him make me one. Yeah, that was a long time ago. You know? Yeah, they, you know, I'm just thinking about, you know, having a good time out there. You know, I, I love being out there. On the, you know what? You have no clue unless you've been out there. And you know what I'm talking about if you've been there. You know, when you see, I've you know, the starfish, you know, you see the fucking, you know, the, I mean, all the fish out there. You see the clownfish so and whatnot, I you know. Oh, yeah, it freaks you out, man. Yeah, I'll be out be going out there every day, snorkeling, fishing, quiet. Yep. whatever, you know. Yeah. So you're yeah. right. Okay. It sounds like it's a big benefit to having a boat. Just come to big <laughs> That's Donna. Oh appreciate that. No. We we just got done carrying 
quarter inch plywood down the hill to um, around the house. Ren, do you do any diving at all? Uh, I used to uh, be a, a scuba diver. Yeah, I was. I don't have my license now. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. Uh, living in the Philippines, man, it'd be wonderful to have a boat and you know, especially do your own diving. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, that, Trust me. That would and be that, fun. As a matter of fact, yeah. Uh, he's talking home. about you know, uh, Tixie's talking about getting her uh, scuba diving. In, yep. in in the Philippines, I'm a, a licensed buff diver. Um, <laughs> yeah, let me tell you something. Yeah. Man, I'm good at that. Yeah, I'm a I professional like too. <laughs> Donna would like to hear that. Yeah. I, I know Donna loves that. And being a professional muck diver, um, is there a course that you can take for this? Mm, yeah, let me tell you something. Yeah. Um, Go to the far, Philippines, and every girl uh, gives you that course. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is not Chinese. Uh, Ooh, another beer open. You guys want one? No, I don't want no Patreon people asking where the where the bear money go to. What? Bear money? Yeah. Yeah, another day, man, another day. Oh, bad money. That that only goes to fucking uh goes to his cigarettes. Oh, his gaming. What did Richard say? And you are <laughs> You're not doing anything, Richard. You can drink anytime. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'll have a drink, help the medicine go down. Who sung that? Mary Poppins? Yeah, I thought Al was going to swing by. I threw him a mm -hmm. link. You actually sent him a link? Really? Him. You brought him here? Uh, no, but I threw him a link on Facebook. Well, he's, uh, his uh, uh, body double there of Video Freedom is in the chat. Uh, maybe he'll yeah. come on in place of Allo. Video Freedom? Yeah, he's the uh, anti aaron well, I'd like to have him on my show, too. No, I'm, that's fake. That's I'm fake trying, to get, trying to get... Last night, we were talking no. about having him I know, and... I know who he is. Steve, come on. Yeah. Video Freedom's right here. He should come on and... He should, because I'm an, an elite member of his... Fan club? Of course. Money well spent. Well, I don't know nothing about him, so I can't say nothing because I don't know nothing. Well, you're lucky then. Well, I, don't, I mean, he, he's been on my show before. He never said, like, what other people say about me, so I, I give him a long rope to go on. Don't do shows. You know, I, I haven't done shows here. This is my first time doing this stuff. But if I could get you and Steve together and nobody else, I think that would be a pretty good... I'll give you a, give you a, long, a lot of rope to, to hang yourself with. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about him. So I, I don't even know what to ask. What, what to what to ask for? I, I I know he's been with me for 
for a while now, and then he never said never said crap about me or to me, and he's been pretty decent. So I don't know. Hey Kevin, that's not the real video freedom. That's a fake video freedom. Yeah, it is. It's, it's fake. Yeah. Okay. Well. He's not the same one that was on Donna's show. Oh, okay, that's the one you were talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, but that's not the same guy. That you, It's on the chat. I don't know who he is. He's the better. Yeah. He's the better video for you, though. Oh, well. Good yeah, he's, a good, he's, a good, he, he's, he's a good guy, then. Yeah. yeah. Because there's a guy running around right here calling himself, what, Bolo Head? Something like I don't know what he said. Well, that's one of your that's one of your throat. Well, Girls. I think he's one of those guys, Bolo Head, one of those guys that belong to the other group. But this video freedom, he has a uh, a, a channel with uh, videos on it, uh, so uh, people can uh, check out his stuff. Oh really? Oh yeah, yeah I saw yes. it. I saw it. Yeah. Well. Because the real video freedom has the new channel. He has a new. Uh, Is that all uh, right? Radio. Yeah, alt. All alt radio. Yeah. Right, and, radio. and he's in Thailand. I understand. Yeah, he's uh, e-begging from Thailand. Uh, what did you say? Oh. Yeah, like I said, I I don't know anything about him, so. Hard for me to say anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, everything is good here. Pardon up a little bit. Roberto, are you out? Are you out in the boat? No, I'm at one of my stores. Okay. Having a cup of coffee from Starbucks. Well, that's three dollars right there that you could uh you could you do something with. Or how much is Starbucks? I got a grande and it's five dollars. Well I I said short change then. <laughs> I spend about close to forty bucks a week on Starbucks. Well, don't you think like that could have went to a different place? Yeah, my coffee fund. <laughs> <laughs> but if you make coffee at home, then, you know. I don't like my coffee at home. That's why I spend the money to buy the good ones. Just trying to help you, buddy. Well, well don't they make, like, instant coffee from Starbucks? Like in a yeah, you, yeah, you can buy them like that. My, my, I mean, my wife. She's she's a Starbucks fan too, but she, but she makes coffee at home, and we got the one of those Keurigs, and she makes the instant coffee from, you know, the little packets from uh, Starbucks. Yeah. So yeah, she does that. I, I don't like it. Just close your eyes and have your wife say, "Roberto, coffee," and then you just sniff and go there. No, she gets up too early. I'm still sleeping by the time she gets up. She has to be at work at 6. No. Oh. So, yeah, she gets up at like 3 o'clock in the morning, 3.30. To get ready? She's a woman. Cause she has to, yeah, of course. Well, well, your wife is pretty, but can she get any more prettier? I mean, I don't understand. 3.30, and she don't got to be at work until 6? Come on. Well, no, no, she had, she had to, she has to drive an hour. Oh, I'm sorry. She has to drive an I hour and 20 I'm minutes asking, to work. I'm yeah. asking the hard questions, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because nobody told me nothing, so I'm just trying to find out what's going on. Yeah. Because there might be a conspiracy that I, I don't know, and people just, Angry, 
but they don't telling me nothing. Oh heck, yeah. That was my workout. What happened to everybody else? They uh, they got quiet all of a sudden. No, it's still well, here. You made them angry or something. Oh. Gun Trump 2009. Yeah, I'm a Starbucks yuppie. I love Starbucks. Oh, I was just like I said, it's been yeah. 40, bucks, was almost 40 at, bucks a week. I was looking at all, you know, everybody else that was there talking about, you know, hey, what are we doing? Uh, just out reading the, um, the messages that, oh, uh, I don't, I guess Richard don't want to come back on. That was actually right. Uh, right. Oh, Bo's Coffee. Yeah, I like Bo's Coffee. In the Philippines, we we had um, um, in, in um, Migros, there was a Bo's Coffee. What else? Uh, yeah, Sam's Club is nice. They got good dogs over there. The Polish dog. Yeah, heck. Yeah, sometimes on, on this, on this, what we're saying right here, hey, be careful what you say. Sometimes you got to be careful what you say because people misconstrue what you are saying and they take it the wrong way. <laughs> VLS, <laughs> did you read that one? Said if you own money to Frank. But tell you, <laughs> just hide, just hide at the Starbucks, and he'll never find you. <laughs> Remember, he had that one video. He was looking for a Starbucks in the mall, and he went to like four different places, and <laughs> they keep telling him, "Upstairs, upstairs, upstairs." Was like, was a three level level mall the one that got, there was a guy that got lost in Starbucks. I mean, yeah, he, he got lost right. in the mall in the Philippines. Was that Dave? I think oh, that was Frank. Oh, that was Frank. He was saying he got lost. No, it's Frank. Long, long I met, time. I met Frank. But let me show you something. You know, yeah, eh, you probably get lost in the uh, fucking Starbucks. What do y'all think? I agree with you. What, what, do you, what do you think about him uh, asking for money for, uh, for? dog food you know what i i replied to him but i think he uh, blocked me on his but anyways i replied to him i said why don't you just take that dog and have someone butcher it and cook <laughs> it and feed it to the poor that's been a lot better than um okay asking for money for a uh, stray dog I have this to say. you know first off you know what it ain't the dog's fault you know what save the dog i killed the man yeah you but, know you guys what? can call it I know, but what there's, you want. But... There's thousands of stray dogs in the Philippines. I mean, you can't it's feed every yeah. one of them. Yeah. And plus... And, oh, and, and I said that today. You're right. It's better to take them to the province. Take them to the province. All the dogs, take them to the province. Have them butchered. And then feed them to the poor. They won't know what it is. Even my, my Did... grandfather, my great-grandfather ate dogs. Mm -hmm. let me tell you something you know where my family came from it's like you know what you fight on the battlefield you know it, you see the field ahead of you that's what you do you know you take care of it but you know animals come on at the same time you know what what are they done what are they done wrong and we're and, and we're a country of uh rooster killers yeah, you're talking yeah. about dogs. You know what? That that's what I'm talking about. It's like, you know what? It's like it's a debate where we can go back and forth and just you know sit there and choke each other. Am I right, Ren? How many cats do you still have? Two cats and one dog. I eat dog bonifile. <laughs> 
I got it. This dog, this dog came out of nowhere. And they had a um, dog that was barbecued. I took a picture mm -hmm. of it. You know, this, this dog came out of nowhere. You know, it was like, you know, it was like uh, what Richard said, you know, out of nowhere. Uh, we just love animals and we just, you know, want to take care of them. Well, don't get me but wrong. You can't, I have, but you I have can't three dogs. Save them all. I have three dogs at home, so I know I love animals. But don't you think it's kind of kind of silly to ask for money for a stray dog? Um, you know, I never asked. I never asked for money. No, not you. I'm talking about Frank. Oh, or maybe he got a lot of dogs. You know. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I I came across you know too strong. You know. Um, no, I never ask for money, you know, but, you know, I, hey, I take care of my things on my own, you know, but I know now, now I know where you're coming from. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking about Frank. I mean, just the storyline behind it is kind of silly. I mean, there is a poor people around him and he shows the poor girl at like a couple of his videos. Yeah. Poor little girl. And now he asking for money for a stray dog that's uh, i mean it doesn't make sense and it's stupid that's why Sorry, i made I'm that lying. comment that's why i made that's why i made that comment to him because i never saw that video i gotta check it yeah and it's like i don't know what planet you're from but you're a freaking idiot i mean I could say, hey, uh, this girl, little how girl. Do you know some... another, how do you know I'm from another planet? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not talking about you, Kevin. But you guys get my point. Mm. Okay, you want right, to just, okay. I'm just reading I'm just basically reading what, what people are saying, you know. Ah, man, you know, you get those trolls. Go on, Richard, you know, wanna hear more, you know, Thanks. constructive conversation. Uh, something about Frank. Yeah, Frank. <laughs> Well, he looks like he's a happy guy. Nah, he looks like he's doing well. Yeah. So what do you think, Rich? Hey, um, hello? Hey, yeah. Uh, what's up, Vic? Hey, you know why Frank, um, doing that dog? Yeah. Yeah, we know he's doing that dog. Wait, you know what? <laughs> no, no. You know what? Doggy style. Like doing that fun thing for the Doggy dog. Style. It's probably because the dog can't say anything, right? Because right. the last oh, time he did that, God. it was that chick, and that chick actually denied what Frank was telling people. The dog can't do that this time, you know? This oh, guy yeah. He's fucking I, slick. He's not getting away with this. <laughs> that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, please help my uh, this dog. I need yeah, the money. Totally. It's not for me. It's not for me, but you know, it's, it's for this dog. He needs food. Oh God! I have a dog. Is the dog you know, looking what? to get on the computer and message fucking like one of you guys we, and say, "Oh yeah, Frank's we, lying." You know? <laughs> hey guys, we saved a dog. You know what? And you know what? I'll tell you this much: we're not asking for any money. You know, for for this dog. You know, she's a great girl. You know, and I'm not going. You know, to ask anybody to feed her. Um, I don't know this new video that he's done. So, you guys have a link? Hey, uh, Donna, you got a point there. Um, it's it's okay to donate to a a cause like the uh, you know welfare society of the Philippines. Yeah, that's that's one thing. But 
pointing a camera on one dog and asking for donation for that dog. And we know his background about doing donations and, you know, doing uh, fund me accounts. So it's just a little bit ridiculous in the way he approached. You got to understand. Yeah. You got to understand, Donna, you know, the way he's, he's, you know, what was it? The situation, how he does his videos, it's always about pulling money from people. This is not the first time he's done this. Oh, I like dog and a pizza. Gun to his <laughs> dog. His dog stole his pizza. Mm. And the, the, yeah, it, yeah, Donna, yeah, you're right. But you know what? Um, if if he needs to have money sent to him for one dog, couldn't he take it out, out of his pocket? And if he can't exactly. take it out of his pocket to find uh, to feed yeah. one dog, then that means his his mentality, his thinking is towards money for his himself or for his girlfriend or for his girlfriend's uh, family. That's the only yep. that's the only reason he's doing this. He's not doing and it for the dog. I'm, I'm sorry, Donna. You know because what? Because I can to pull out with you. 10 pesos, 20 pesos and buy dog food for the dog. And you don't to have to go online. You, I, and, I put and a lot of money help. into one dog. This one little puppy that we actually brought in. You know what? If you can't do that, but you have to ask, you know, some donations, you know what? You're worthless. Who are we talking about? What Frank are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about uh, a tree. The, the Hawaiian, tree, the, the Hawaiian yeah, the, yeah. tree. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah. the chair. Yeah. I wouldn't even give him. Tree. I wouldn't donate the sweat off my balls to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's a lot. Of, thinking, that's a lot of sweat, sir. That's yeah, a lot it of is, sweat. Sir, and I won't even give that to him. <laughs> and him I'm, you know, I, I, I'm sitting here petting, you know, a dog that I saved. You know what? Because they can afford it. Frank Butterfugly, you there? I, I wouldn't piss on him if he was on fire. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of us wouldn't. But he's still begging. I don't even watch his channel anymore. He's still uh, online begging. Yeah. yeah, I don't either. Yep. He yeah, yeah. His yep. his uh latest one about one the money for this stray dog that is hungry, and, and you know and and yeah, it, you know you feel sorry for the dog, but that's not his intentions, because if it no, was his intention, he would have put money out of his pocket to feed the dog. So it doesn't did, look yeah, exactly. And then whose well, dog he, is it? Well, he I mean, tried the starving children angle. That didn't work. So now he's going with the starving uh, animals exactly. uh, angle. Yes. yes, sir. You're right. That's, that's, that's all it is. You know what? We had a starving dog that was here. You know, and, and a matter of fact, that dog was about to be thrown into a trash can. Guess what? I didn't ask anybody for money. I pulled it out of my own pocket. And now he's part of our, you know, family. Yeah, you see that on the streets in the Philippines. It's pretty sad. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we love, I know it's a poor country by and large. There's a lot of rich people there, but, uh, you know, people, they don't care. They don't care, they, they don't care you know, buddy, you know. Yeah. I know it's heartbreaking. I mean, I've been outside my hotels there smoking. I see little dogs hanging mm. by the, you know, the uh, vendors looking for a scrap that falls, and they're, you can see yes. their rib cages, and there's furs all fucked you up. Have, and you have the people starving in the Philippines. They have no time to worry about dogs. That, that's true, too. Yep, yeah. they're rot. Yep, yep, they're rot. Well, they got their families, most of them, you know, and they, they help one another, most of them. The thing is, they, there's so much controversy. They're always fighting along with they each other. like crazy. Yeah. Well, the I think is, we were, it, you know, it but takes what, a... what, the, what does it take with the, with the animals? You know, it's like, you know, come on, man. 
They have nothing to do with it. I think it takes a low-life scumbag like Frank to think of something like that, to use a poor animal film yeah. on national... It's, oh, my God. It's, it's, you know, it's exploitation. You. exploitation. An exploitation with to get him money so he can get laid. <laughs> right. That is love. And Jeez, is that desperate, huh? Well, he's a well, piece maybe, of maybe he does have a soft heart and he just really oh, wants shit. to help. No, he's just a scumbag. Yeah. No, shit. you got to understand, using an animal, come on. I mean, how many times because have you Because Alan was it? telling me that we, we should talk about it and make um, try to help the dog because there's a lot of concerned people. Uh, and I can understand if he, when he showed that little girl, I think it was his uh, his girlfriend's um, niece or something. If she <laughs> they showed that little girl and asked for help because you know she needs food and stuff, I can understand that. But not even think saying anything about that and going to a stray dog and asking for money, that's a low blow, man. That's so low. Yeah, because but he he's appealing to. Uh, you know, animal lovers. He'll do anything to get money out of people. I, I like dogs. He's just an, he's an unscrupulous scumbag. That's all. I, I like dogs. I, I, I picked up. I picked up a, a dog. You know, I just you know picked up. You know, she just showed up here and whatnot. You know, um, um, her Thea showed up with Trixie, and all of a sudden there was this dog. You know what? This dog was supposed to be thrown into a fucking trash bag, you know, and all of a sudden, she's here at my house. It's either trash bag or be at my house. I didn't ask for nobody for nobody, no money and whatnot. Yeah, I didn't ask for that. I don't care. I told her, you know what? You can stay here. Uh, now, I have a dog. Head guy. Is that a male or female dog? Female. You're going to have it spayed? Yep. All Just right. kick it yeah. in. I'm gonna take her to the do yeah, I'm going to take her over and, and make sure she gets spayed. Well, that's going to cost some money. Because the local Pinoy dogs will knock it up in a minute, just like they yeah. do to girls. It'll be 3,000 uh, <laughs> pesos. <laughs> just like they do, just like the human beings do there. Mm-hmm. As soon as, it, as soon as it bleeds, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be popping its cherry. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the Philippines. <laughs> Welcome to the Philippines. Yep. And yeah. at the same time, you know what? You don't ask for fucking money, you know, to save a pet, you know? If you don't have enough money, you know what? You shouldn't be here. But that's not the purpose he's doing it. He's just looking to get uh, some cash from people. To, you know, to support his girlfriends and, and any other whores he's with in the Philippines. And that's, you know, uh, okay. I'm, oh, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying, to hold, I trying to hold my tongue. I'm trying to hold my tongue. Yeah, you, don't, you shouldn't be calling uh, Filipinas whores. You met this guy, no, Ren, right? I no, 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 no. Yes, guy. I met him. That who's, calling a Philippine, to... who's calling Filipinas uh, whores? He just did. Oh, uh -oh kick his ass, Roberto. <laughs> I said he's, he's using a dog to get money for his to pay for his girlfriends and and the whores he goes with. So you're saying there's no whores in the Philippines? Oh, I thought you called his girlfriend a whore. No, probably no, is, did, but I, did. I didn't. Not like in our country, the real the real whores in America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're fake whores in the Philippines. Well, so, they, so, so, hey, John Doe, why do you have American and a Filipino flag on your avatar? I don't know. I just said, well, I'm American and my girlfriend's a Filipina. And I just like having sex with, you know, Filipinas. That's right. My, my penis is, <laughs> my penis is uh, through insertion has become a... Uh, a Philippine citizen. <laughs> so you consider yourself a sex pat? Um, 
No, I wouldn't because I only mess not, with not you, sin, not not you, Ryan, not you. I'm talking yeah, about I was gonna say I only been with. Women. Well, the majority <laughs> of my my Filipina girlfriends uh, I've I've met in the United States, and I occasional one over there, but but most of them are my steady girlfriends are, are in the United States with me. Okay, good enough. My my current girlfriend was uh, came over uh, petitioned by a hospital. Uh, as as a nurse, a registered nurse, and then they gave her, they petitioned her for her citizenship. Cool. So so she so she worked hard to get here then. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, she got her education. So she she worked as a nurse in the Philippines. Uh, Took the required testing and, and, and applied to come here. And, yeah. uh, and then, uh, uh, sucked the American well, dick. So she you know, paid and all of a sudden, come here. Get it up. Yeah, because when they bring them here, they, they put them in uh, inner city hospitals where, you know, it's difficult to get nurses. And they're great nurses, the Filipinas. Oh, you know it. <clears throat> Is that you, Kevin? Yeah. You better stop smoking that bad weed. Oh. Uh, uh, get used by an inhaler. Hey, uh, video freedom. You know what? You can suck it. There's the finger. You can suck it. What, did he say something? Yeah, he did. Uh, I don't even know who he is. He's just trolling me. How many beer you had already uh, there, Ren? Is that your what? Oh, man. Six, I mean, already went. Horse? <laughs> no. Dude, way <laughs> beyond that. Way yeah. beyond that. Um, yeah, you got to talk about just this morning, you know, we, we met with uh, a subscriber. But you guys will see the, the video. The next video is coming up. It's the next, uh, you know, person that we met, a subscriber that uh, came from New Jersey. We drank a lot of beer. That's good. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's been here for a month. And he plans to stay here forever. Well, that's what I said, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that doesn't work out the way you think, buddy. Believe no, me. No, it don't. It don't. Yep, you're right. Believe me, I'm living proof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, things go wrong, man. That's you have right. to. You really have a to. Good one. I mean. Kevin, you have to really check out, you know, what your plan is going to be. Yep. Yeah, don't don't live a fairy tale dream. Mm -hmm. Because waking up is a cruel reality. That is probably the best I could say. Yeah, waking up, you know, it's like, oh my god. Yeah, you're right. You're waking you know? up. You're forty. You're you're um two million. <laughs> went 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 mm -hmm. went south on you. Your business went south, and yep, I had that happen fucking already three times. She went Jesus. south. <laughs> so this yeah, is my hey, final, I, I, my I final understand what saying. <laughs> I'm gonna hey, be you, you still got your dick, so you're still in good shape. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can't see it, but I know it's still there. But Kevin's, yeah. dick, Kevin's dick is a liability, though. Well, oh, yeah. No, I've, I've been good for four years, you know. Everybody's is, right? But if you ever make it back to the Philippines, you won't be anymore. Well, no, 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 because I'm going to be with my kids and my kid's mom. So I'm going to be walking on the straight and narrow. Uh, all right. I, I hope so. I hope so, too. Yeah, she's going to have to get you a chastity belt, man. 
Well, <laughs> I, I was thinking before I do come back, go back, maybe I'll just have myself fixed. Oh, okay. But yeah, she won't no, have no kids no, but Because we already no, you have, can't have your poker. You can't have your poker poking on anything else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Friend of yeah, mine. We're yeah. done having kids. We got two beautiful daughters. You can poke all you want over there. Just don't have any more babies. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. You yeah. know what happened? You know what happened to have had a baby from somebody else? Thinks he would fucking put bullets in all of you. Just what, to let you know. That? Oh, my, no, Chixie, if I was to have a baby with somebody else, let me tell you something, man. He put a bullet in him. Well, yeah. for a foreigner living in the Philippines, that's always a possibility. Where's Chixie mm -hmm. sleeping? <laughs> yeah, she's sleeping. Too bad she's not here. Yeah, see, see, Thank God. My, my, my son's mom, she was my first girlfriend, and then I met my daughter's mom, and she was number two. No, oh, shit. Then you wonder why you got a bolo knife in your head? Huh? <laughs> you wonder why you got a bolo knife in your head? Well, he made the mistake of living with the girl's family. That's a yeah. huge mistake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was a mistake, too. But, yep. but no, the family was good. Just the, the brother was, was um, yeah. the brother was the mistake. Right. Well, he's the part of the family. Well. He's part of the family. Yep. The, the father was pretty well to do, wasn't he, Kevin? With all that uh, farming he did and everything with the sugar cane. Well, you and know, you know, four four hectares is only going to go so far. Mm -hmm. Two was on rice, two was on sugar cane, and Mahogany so you got to pay the people, you got to pay the workers, you got to pay the um. There's a lot of um, coverage you got to do. Mm -hmm. and then labor. And then you got, and hopefully the price of rice is good. And the price is um, sugar is good. Then you're gonna mm -hmm. get a truck. You uh, you gotta hire a truck for the sugar cane. Then you gotta take mm -hmm. it to the miller. So there's there's a lot of um, um, guessing for that for that stuff. So, but what I was asking is he is he making money? Is he? Well, yeah, but he, he does make money, but at the end of the day, because sometimes you got to borrow money for the um, for the fertilizer and, and, and the bug uh, sprays, so all that stuff adds up. But at the end of the day, he breaks even, but, you know, there's always somebody with their hand out. Mm -hmm. And then if something happens... Then you gotta um, pay for that. But yeah, the he. Um, I don't know exactly what Alex uh, one six one one two or one one is saying. He likes hotels. Hotel California. Yeah, she does. He likes that song. No, what he's saying is he's saying she's like Hotel California. You can check <laughs> out and never leave. <laughs> <laughs> check out and never leave. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're in hell. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you <laughs> for, for jumping in. Boy, you guys. It's already that time. Two hours passed by. What time for Kevin? Right. It may be nap time. Well, I'm gonna go eat. It's almost one o'clock. It's five. It's it's twelve fifty-five right now. You can miss a meal. Uh, well, I know that. Boy, do I know that. <laughs> but yeah, Ren, you can go turn on your your site <laughs> and house everybody. Yeah. Hey, Ren. Um. Hey, dude, before I go, I wanted to, like, apologize for earlier. I didn't want to seem like a dick or anything, dude. You know, I do like your channel. Hey, um, I watch your shows. Nothing wrong with being a dick. <laughs> All nothing right, John. Nothing wrong in being a dick. Seriously. All right, dude. Yeah. Hard feelings, man. <laughs> Take care, all right? 
Dicks so well. I got you. Know, I'm, I'm just glad. I'm just glad somebody else stick up for me instead of um, Roberto. So thanks. <laughs> yeah, usually, usually uh, Roberto's my bulldog, and uh, this time it, it was Victor. So I'm always happy that people have my back for me. I I don't have your back, not yet. Come on, Kevin. You gotta pro and prove yourself to me. Well, that's okay. I mean, <laughs> these other guys. They're taking me the way I am, so that's cool. Mm. All right, you guys. Not yet. I got to watch it. So this is Ren Zero. I'm out. Yeah. Thank you. Stay All right. Everybody have a good day. Yeah. yeah. Have, have, a, have, a good, good. have a good drink, I guess. Um. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later on. I'm not sure what the tonight's going to but i gotta go outside do some running around later see what i can spend 50 bucks on since i ain't drinking <laughs> it ain't gonna be drinks get a massage <laughs> yeah i did that last night oh all right so we, we won't get it we won't get into that <laughs> well don't ask if you don't want to know yeah I know. it might be a little bit graphic <laughs> well, I can't see what I'm doing, but I used to. <laughs> well, as long as the other person can see. Well, that's what counts, buddy. That's right. All right, you guys. Hey, I'll talk to you guys later on. I appreciate you guys hanging out and getting nothing accomplished, but somebody, that's somebody what got we're, something out of it. That's what we're good at, getting nothing accomplished. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You know, as long as you you are you are entertained, right? Yeah, we entertain each other. Yeah, but yeah, you know, try try to try to make sense out of everything. Good luck on that. Uh, yeah, good luck on that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to make sense of the Philippines. That's for There's sure. Nothing. You can't even with the chaos that's going on. No. Sense no or logic sense. that does not apply in the Philippines. Yep. Don't involve yourself with the chaos. You That's know, right. just go don't enjoy yourself and, and don't get them pregnant. Yourself. Don't get married and don't get them pregnant. Mm -hmm. well, yep. That's almost well. Yeah, but see, if, you know, just support your kids if you get pregnant, right? Or if you pregnant somebody, right. but try to avoid that at all costs. Yeah, but do the right thing when that happens. Right. My kids are happy. I send money to them every month. My daughter's birthday is next week, so I'm going to send money again. So everybody's happy in my in my bandwagon. All right. That's all that counts. Yep. 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 All right, you guys. All right. Catch right. you later. Keep a stiff upper lip. I'm always stiff. I well, you're a young man, maybe that's why. Think you want to play with this? No, the girls oh, keep me stiff. Don't make it. Don't make it <laughs> stiff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. This is Big Kevin saying bye. Thanks, Sentai right. Seven, John Doe, Victor. Always appreciate you guys coming on. Um, Roberto. Be careful, watch your back. Don't don't trust everybody, especially when it comes to credit cards. Mm -hmm. yeah, Check your he, back. He got a tricky business that he's with. Any anybody can do that that fraud stuff. All right, you guys. Always stay out of trouble. Be happy. Thank God. All right. Take care. All right. Have, Have a good night. Have a good day. All right, just be Kevin. See you guys later.